Hi, I'm Natalie Morris for CNET. You're watching our coverage of the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show, and I'm taking a first look at the Toshiba tablet. This is Toshiba's Android tablet, and if it looks rather big, you're right, it is. This is 10.1 inches diagonally. It's also a really sturdy tablet. You want to keep in mind Toshiba is known for their really, really sturdy and hefty laptops. Well, this is no different. The back has this easy grip technology, so it feels like something that has a little bit more substance to it. It doesn't feel like it's going to break in your back. I'm told that this is replaceable, so if you wanted one, say, in pink or chartreuse, if that is your preference, you could replace these, switch these out so it's a bit more customizable. It also has a user replaceable battery. Now it does have two cameras, one in the back, that's five megapixels, and then one in the front, that's two megapixels, so if you really want to do video chatting, that's an option. Um, it does have flash on its browser, so you have the full gamut of the internet to watch at your disposal. This is running Honeycomb, that's Google's Android operating system. It also has here the ability to connect to anything over USB, it has HDMI out so you can take this content and send it to a TV or a computer if you'd like and it also has mini USB as well. It also has something called Resolution Plus that means it takes standard deaf video and makes it look high deaf. This is a Wi-Fi only version but Toshiba tells me that they will have one out later with cellular connectivity either 3G or 4G but we don't know when yet. We just know that this version will come out in the first half of 2011 and they said it will be priced competitively with the iPad. So I'm thinking around $500, but we're not sure yet. We'll know that later in the year. Again, I'm Natalie Morris for CNET. You're watching our coverage of the 2011 Consumer Electronics Show, and you just took a first look at the Toshiba tablet.